Just when you think a story has finished, up pops the Rift House Youth Project again. It seems from local residents they're dissatisfied with the way that the Rift House Project is being run by project leader, Councillor Christopher Ackers-Belcher. In December, way before Christmas, we just had several separate calls from different concerned residents who were worried that free food given to Rift House by a reputable charity organisation was then being sold in both my cafe and in the premises rented from Hartlepool Borough Council. So we went to have a look and this is what we found. Every Wednesday, a very reputable and excellent national organisation, Fair Share, delivers a consignment of free food to the Rift House project. This food has previously been collected by Fair Share from supermarkets and such like for redistribution to benefit communities. My cafe has the first pick of the food, which is then resold as meals by my cafe, and the remainder is sold to residents. Now, we've checked with Fair Share and their spokesperson advised that they have no objection to their food being sold on, provided that the funds raised benefit the community and that the food is kept in appropriate conditions, frozen, chilled or whatever. So we visited the project one Wednesday to see for ourselves. Sure enough, food donated by Fair Share was laid out on tables for sale. The first concern, as you can see from this photo, that food specifically required to be chilled was just laid out on a table in a normally heated room. This included frozen meals that had partly defrosted and raw meat that was getting warm. When we purchased an item, X as the liver for 60 pence, we came across a second concern, and that was that they were unable even when specifically asked to provide a receipt for our purchase. In fact, in the short time we were there, we saw at least 15 pounds change hands with the cash going into a cash box and no attempt whatsoever to record any sale. We can understand now why some of the people that alerted us to this were so upset. So questions to be asked. In the absence of any public accounts, how does anyone know the proceeds from these food sales are being used to benefit the community? How can they keep any tax records? What is the relationship between my cafe and the Rift House Youth Project? Does my cafe pay the Rift House Youth Project for the donated food? Why can't there be more transparency and reassurance for the community? No one wants the project to close. However, residents are clearly upset by some of these practices or they would never have contacted us. We repeat our invite to Councillor Ackers Belcher. You may not want to talk to HTV, but you have your own video and social media capabilities. Go on record and we'll republish your response.